Hi, it's Peony. Well, my favorite time of the year is when I get to make um, potatoes in this uh, wood stove. Today, I'm going to try, well tonight, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to see if I can um, make a baked apple in here. I'll give it a try. I also have a regular potato and a purple sweet potato, one of my favorites. I ran out of the yams that my friend Sally gave me. I know, this is, I've tried, um, I have tried putting uh, the potatoes, cut them up and put them in, in like a stainless steel, stainless oven proof um, pan. I've also tried using a small little cast iron, uh, this little thing here, this little cast iron thing, but it just doesn't taste the same, so, oh well. I know aluminum is really bad for our brains, but whatever. So wrap this one up and close it up really good. And then I'm going to do the apple. Hopefully it doesn't explode. It probably would be a really good idea to maybe um, prick some holes in here. I had a crocheting. I had a crochet um, needle up here that I used to, to make holes in. Well, if the, if the potatoes don't explode, then I don't really think this would explode either. So anyway, here's the apple. And here's the potato. I've tried um, making uh, squash, butternut squash in there. I cut it up, and that was really good. So... This is how we do it. Can you see? Okay. In here, I've got some hot coals. And I'm going to put this on top of the hot coal. Not too far back. Aha! I found my crochet needle. Someone's just telling me that I need to poke holes in here. <laughs> you know, only because the skin, the skin on the apple is just so different from... Let's just do one, two, three holes. Oh, my crochet needle. That's... I don't crochet. Let's say those. I don't crochet, but I use that as a tester to see if my potatoes are done. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I have this brick. Ooh, it's hot. I'm going to put the apple, set it on top of the brick. I don't know why. I just felt like doing that. All right. And so 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, we're going to come back and check this. Okay, so 20 minutes is up and I'm back. Time to check the, the late night snack and my apple for tomorrow morning. Here's the apple. Ooh, it seems to be nice and soft. And here's the purple sweet potato. And the other potato. So. I got my crochet needle, scoot up here, and ooh, look at that, it goes in right through. That's ready. Oops. And here's the purple sweet potato. Mmm, that's ready. And I'm really excited about this apple. Oh my god, it is really ready. I'm really ready. All right. Let's open it. It's hot. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my god, it is steaming. Oh, where is it? Well, that is a really bad camera shot. Look at this. Yummy. 
I'm tempted to cut it open, so we're going to go to the kitchen and cut it. So here I am in my kitchen. I lost my camera stand, so I hope you can see this. Oh yeah, you can see this. Ooh, nice. I'm going to eat this tomorrow morning because we don't eat fruits at night. Ooh, but I want to taste it. I can't wait. Just a little bit. Oh, the skin just comes right off. Ooh, it's very hot. This is random. I wasn't prepared. Mmm, good. Just sprinkle some uh, cinnamon on that. Next time, you know what I'm going to do? I'll cut the core out and put some cinnamon and some um, butter and then put it in the in the stove. This is how we create. Okay, Ooh, that's hot. All right, so let's check out the purple sweet potato. Mmm, this is going to be the late night snack because I don't eat dinner. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at this. See? Chopstick goes right through and it's done. And tomorrow, yes, I eat a lot of carbs. Tomorrow, I'm going to go out, and I can't eat out, so I have to bring my own food, and this is what I'm going to bring with me. Just this. Not just this, but I'll bring some sautéed veggies, too. Ooh. This is, this is nice, also. I think it could have stayed in maybe five more minutes. As you can see, I'm having um, a slate. Oh, it's done. Just sprinkle some salt on that and then put some butter on it and take it with me for my lunch tomorrow. That's the fun part of having a wood stove and I'm so glad that I had it fixed today. Bye.